Hi, my name is Laura McReynolds and I'm a financial advisor. Today I want to talk with you about something that can really hit your retirement planning from a financial perspective. Uh, you're probably thinking about market volatility and those sorts of things, but I'm actually talking about longevity. So when we survey um, retirees, their biggest fear is really running out of money, the fear of running out of money. And their second biggest fear is uh, having unexpected healthcare expenses in their retirement. And both of these things are in the realm of longevity planning. And so we suggest with all of our clients at Adams McReynolds Retirement Partners, everyone have a longevity plan as part of their financial plan. 66% of seniors say that they do not want their adult children to know anything about their finances or their legal affairs. And 50% of adult children say they don't have any idea if their parents have a simple uh, power of attorney in place so that if they needed to step in and care for their uh, aging parent that they would be able to. So we have this kind of split between our concerns and the things that we're talking about. And we suggest for our clients that you have the conversation and you have it just as soon as you can. Um, one way that we found some success is to have our clients talk with their adult children about their own longevity plans and in turn share that conversation with your parents. You might be surprised that your parents open up when they hear that you've done the same with your kids. So one of the things that um, we do caution about with regard to having that conversation with your parents is these are not your choices. This is not your plan. Um, your parents are in control. Your parents are in charge of this plan and you do not have any legal responsibility for the choices that they make. And one place that we also caution about is with regard to legal incapacity. So we wanna make sure that if your parents are, are putting this plan in place, that they have, um, that they are legally, um, that they have the legal ability to do that. And so incapacity, some of the things that we kind of caution about or ask people to look into is um, with regard to your folks' um, physical and, and an appearance. So with physical, you might look at their gait, um, are they falling? Are they um, able to get in and out of the chair okay? With regard to their appearance, you know, are they keeping their hygiene up and that sort of thing. With regard to um, their home, we want people to just take a look at things with regard to safety. So um, are there any scorched pots and pans, that kind of thing. So, and then also food, we wanna make sure that, that there is either plenty of food in the home, because sometimes the shelves are bare, and or make sure that that food isn't spoiled. Um, we also suggest when you're looking in the home that you look for any um, outstanding bills. Sometimes bills really pile up. Sometimes um, you see collection notices and that sort of thing. And we wanna make sure that your folks are handling their finances properly and those are signs that they're not able to handle their finances properly any longer. And the last thing is memory. And I'm not talking about just ordinary, everyday memory loss or an inability to, to remember where you put the keys. That's not at all what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a real insecure feeling or frustration with things that should be um, maybe tasks that should be um, kind of normal or, or familiar to your parents or um, an infamiliarity or insecurity with surroundings that should be familiar to their parent to your parents. These sorts of things could be an indication that um, your parents may be slipping and we wanna just caution you about legal capacity because that, that does come into play sometimes. So if you haven't had a talk with your folks and any of those things that I just mentioned struck a chord with you, I really suggest that you ask your folks about their plans for longevity and you ask right away. We wanna find out how do they wanna be cared for, where do they wanna be cared for, what do they want to happen with the home, how much your kids, um, you and your siblings should be involved in their care, and then ask them about their finances and their legal affairs and make sure that everything's in order. If you have any questions at all, feel free to give me a call, 217-224-0420, or find us online, adams-mcreynolds.com. Thanks and have a great day.